It's not going to work there. Hello, my lovelies. And you join me. You join us here in the mighty... Are you going? Going where? Oh, yes, you are. Uh, you join us here in the mighty Derrick, uh, and that is, of course, myself and my erstwhile colleague, uh, Mr. Paul Nigel Project Mustard Man. And we are off on an acquisition adventure. Oh, yes, baby. <coughs> So the term acquisition People adventure... Busy, they're not able to challenge uh, um, what their landlord is saying. But then if your these... landlord then... Radio 4. Yeah. So the term acquisition adventure is uh, um, is one of underscores, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. He, he does an awful lot for you, doesn't he? He, do, he does. Yeah. Bless him. Yeah, bless him. He messaged me this morning to say if there's anything a semi-crippled man can do to help you, please just let me know. He could uh, advise you about your hat. There's nothing wrong with my hat. No, there's not. Besides, it's fucking horrible. <laughs> To make YouTube videos with. Oh, you had me at YouTube videos. Let's go, Boaty. Right, here we go. Here we go. Are we ready? Are we steady? Are we off? Off, off. Are we ready? Are we steady? Are we off? Off, off. Are we ready? Are we steady? Are we really out of bed? Are we ready? Are we steady? Are we off? Yes, we are. Hello, Hello. wet leg. Ready, steady. Up. Hello, Miss Boo. Hello, Shison. Oh, you're looking good. <laughs> you're blue. You're looking rather Hello, rubberless this lady. morning. Oh, I've got some news that you just, you won't have been looking at Facebook when you were driving over here. No, I wasn't actually. Well, I've got some exciting celebrity news. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you about it. Yeah. As soon as you can concentrate. Are you ready? Yeah. <coughs> oh. I can just look myself, can I? Um, <clears throat> my humble little cottage yeah. is now on the route of an open top sightseeing tour. Oh, is it? Yeah. Right. An open top bus came through with tourists gawping into my boudoir. Why, why are you in bed? Uh, no, I was out of bed and waving my little tinkle at the fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that what you do to get them hungry? <laughs> <laughs> and just to arouse myself generally, you know, in case I fancy an early morning wank. I don't think you did stuff like that. I don't. This road is unsuitable for heavy vehicles. This is my um, <clears throat> daily commute. Is it? Yeah. I presume we're going to have a rather picturesque journey to go and collect this car. Uh, yeah, the, the beginning part will certainly be uh, picturesque. Rather unusually, I come to Mr. Sack full of smoke here. <laughs> I'll leave that bit out. I come to Boaty's place so we can go and collect a car together. Normally, cars are for sale near where I live. So this is. Um, no, 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 no. Yeah. <coughs> no cars that. are for sale across the United Kingdom. Normally, you can only be asked with cars that are for sale near where you live. I've got a very long way to go and buy a car, have you know, sir? I have. What's the furthest you've been to buy a car? Uh, Cornwall. I mean, it wasn't for me, but it did end up being mine. It did. A car known as Toby Charles. 
Oh, he's took his hat off. He's took his, uh, but he's took his hat off. Hip, 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 hooray. He's took his hat off because he knows that it makes him look gay. Okay. Such an old, an old it's a rubbish insult, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think it's an insult. Well, no, it's only meant as an insult. I would take it as a compliment yeah, if well, I looked gay. Oh, but you, if you looked gay, you know, you'll, you'll look gay, I'll give you that. Not that... I couldn't be gay, how dare you? How would you know whether I'm gay or not? That's the next one. Car coming the other way. Thank you very much. You're very used to driving very close to the edge, aren't you? Yes. Because of cars coming the other way. Yes. So even when you I just live close to the edge generally. So yeah, I can tell. Lunchy munchy cannot wait. Yes, I'm very much looking forward to uh, some lunchy munchies actually. I'm getting peckish. Yeah. It'll be a late lunch though unless we're very careful. Yes. Because Graham likes a chat. Ah right, yeah. Graham Chatman. Oh, is that all it's got? Let's <laughs> yeah, see, see what you mean actually. That's <laughs> I have been meaning to plug my uh, math back in for economy runs and just to see what it was like before because you know how power corrupts, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, suddenly you've got that boost. Oh gosh, that is a view over there. Oh gosh, I'm recording my face. When we come back the other way, you can see Sheffield. Can you? Yeah. to point out that there are some lovely moo cows over there. They've just put that sign up, warning of snow. Oh. <coughs> put it up about a Whoa! Bit. Okay now. <laughs> I hope he shit himself a bit there. <laughs> Look at that wall there. Ah, right, yeah. <laughs> a lot of car, about one car a week goes off there. And then you'll see these knackered signs here. Yeah. One a week goes off somewhere around there. And he very nearly joined the club there. I don't know whether I got him on. I think I got him. Oh yeah, you would have done. They are a bit arse happy, those uh, MX-5s. Yeah, they are. Oh yeah. They oh, were designed. No, I missed it. I missed it because I dropped my camera down. Because I started doing anticipation, uh, anticipating being in a crash. When you anticipate being in a crash, you suddenly stop filming, you see. Now you'll see a lovely view as we go over here. But you might not today. You would on a good day. It's, um, well, this one. Yeah, it doesn't look so stunning today. Uh, it's a bit, um, it's a bit murky looking, isn't it? Taking on a blind bend, that's Chatsworth over there. Chatsworth. Uh, oh, here you go. Yes, now, yesterday... Um, All my troubles seem so far away. Absolutely no signal whatsoever. No, it me. looks as though I'm turning gay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. So where were you? Formby. Have you finished? I uh, guess. Yeah, Formby. And is that on the... It's uh, just like near Blackpool somewhere? It's, no, it's near uh, Liverpool. Oh, right. But it's a oh, is that where George Formby's from? Yeah, uh, I doubt it. It's a lovely, lovely big beach. It could be. It's full of achievements. His real name might have been like um, George... Merkelthwaite, but he took the name for me like Eric Morecambe did. Ah, right. Because he took the name Morecambe because he's from Blackpool. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and his real name is Eric Southwell. <laughs> yeah, 
Yes. Anyway, so I was going to say, no signal whatsoever. Gotcha. Which, um, meant no Facebook, no YouTube, no messages, no phone calls. Um, and after what? Must have been the best day of your wife's life. Um, I don't know. That's no. You didn't take much, does it? You didn't want to speak into her. <laughs> you just sat there in a silk. <laughs> Just repeating over and over every 12 minutes from those signals. No, I realised fairly early on that there wasn't going to be any. And it just freed me up to not worry about it. And actually I enjoyed it. And I wasn't expecting that. What did you do for lunch? Uh, what time did you get there? Um, I don't know. Why don't you know? Oh, about 12 o'clock. Oh, about 12 o'clock. I made loads of sandwiches before it sets about. <laughs> for everybody or just for you? Everyone. Did they all want sandwiches or did you just give them sandwiches as a fait accompli. A fait accompli? Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, it's a practical way of doing it, isn't it? Because it's, you can just take your food with you and eat it when you want to. That is the beauty of a sandwich. Do you know why this sounds a lot louder than mine? Why? Because having to work much harder to get going, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you got about how fast I drive. These there's quite a few blind bends and stuff knocking about down here. You're still doing 60. Yeah, which is the national speed limit. Yeah, I know. And there aren't any blind and, bends. And honestly, I'm not a good passenger at all. Neither I, am I. I know that. Yeah, but you you know. Um, Oh, you're not really, I don't think it was too bad. No, um, depends on what Now, when I was doing the um, driving home from work challenge thingy, three figures along here. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't want to join you in that. I wonder if it had 
the uh, straight swap into um, ECU like mine, uh, but it would just instantly sound like mine as well. I wonder, because mine did a very different um, change of tone with that straight away. Have you ever had a home delivery? No. Have you? standards here but uh, it is me and my arrogant side again I'm afraid but when you see people getting takeaways delivered all of the time I honestly just think get out of the house a bit come on what about if they're disabled they're not disabled they're not even bothered to get dressed they're still in their pajamas uh, I know I know work uh, It's all by yourself. Well, you'll kind of be joining in with it because you're in the car. You can't pull out on anything like this, can you? <laughs> right, we need a car to come behind us. Right. Why? That's part of the game. Oh dear. Is it. Um... They know what the game is. Do they? Yeah. yeah they watch my videos. Alright, so anyone coming the other way knows exactly what you're up to. No, no, I don't mean them coming the other way, I mean them. Oh. The people that live in my phone. This is a 60 limit, isn't it, this one? Uh, yes. Uh, no, 50 at the moment. Oh, no, 60. Oh, right. Yeah, just coming into a 50. Someone's coming up behind, quick. Okay, so... Somebody's come up behind us quickly. We're going too slowly for them. Yeah. They're going to drive too closely behind me. Yeah. Now we, you have to watch them and see if they can, if they stick to me. As I hit this slow here, put it into neutral, and I'm now not allowed to touch the brakes. And oh, this, and this, this is a stupid game. It's not a stupid game. You watch this guy, right? It all over my arse, and let's see how close he stays to me. See, disappeared. Yeah, but you're not in control with in neutral. 
Wait, when did you become a racing driver? <laughs> Momentum now. Oh, good bit yet, oh, kill. See, <coughs> you can blast him all over my ass, and now he's just disappeared. Nowhere well, to be seen. The plowing. Take that as a hint. Right, then we're going to have to handbrake around this. Ah, oh, there we go. Good. <laughs> Yeah, Again, yeah. very common to see a car just there. Yeah, I'm not field. surprised if they're playing your blue game. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the driving to work game. Let's see what's happened there then. Is uh, all the people following you, uh, literally following you, they're wondering why this guy's doing this in this Rover 25. Well, best check that up on YouTube. Go and find out and have a go themselves. He's trying to catch me up now. He's just driving really hard around that corner. But then we're about to enter a village, so we now. Yeah, go back to driving and sensing. Yes. Yeah. It's a fun game, though, isn't it? That oh, is brilliant, yeah. Yeah. I thought you'd enjoy it. I'd enjoy doing it myself. <laughs> but, that, but I always think it's, it's not just how good you are at getting around the corner, it's how good you are understanding what's around that corner before you can even see it. Right. Sometimes you just, you can't go as quickly as you know you can do because of that exact purpose. Mm. Don't like that fish and chip shop. It's very popular. Yeah, I bet it is. <clears throat> popular. I made a wish 
Now, if I'd have known then what I know now, I would have made another wish, a different wish. I would have wished something along the lines of that she wasn't quite so highly sexed that I got bloody abused on a daily basis. Yeah, that's not the kind of wish that most men even think no. they're looking for, is it? No, I certainly didn't think of it at the time. No. Um, but that, so it became the Honourable Bridge, and um, when I picked her up from Heathrow, that was the thing that she was most excited to see. She wanted to drive under the Honourable Bridge. Well, that's a lovely tour up there story, actually. I uh, will say. Very lovely story. Thank you. What a lovely story. And then when we, we did the reverse of the journey... That's car, we, right? That we drove down, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when we got to the bit um, where it opens up and you can see she burst into tears. Oh. Because she comes from a part of China where her son, nine years old, never seen a blue sky in his life. Oh. The pollution is so bad in the part of China that she's from that all you can see is smoke. Nobody there knows what a blue sky looks like. Uh, that can't be uh, good for the um, denizens of the place. No, no, it is not good for the denizens of the place. New houses made to look quite old. Yes. Oh, there's a road there, right? It's left, actually. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, it is actually. It looks damp. And that's less lovely, to my eye. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's less lovely, but probably still quite a uh, nice place to live out your years. There's Pear Tree Cottage. Oh, yeah. Potholes. Do you like a freight tunnel? Yeah, I do. Of course I do. Would you trust somebody who didn't like a freight tunnel? Yeah. I would. Is that man having a wee? I don't know. We'll find out. Well, you know, stop and ask him. Okay. <laughs> Started. And um, under mirror lamps. 
Yeah. I like an under mid Atlantic. Yeah. yeah, mine and But you had a C Max. I did have a C Max. Did you like it? I did quite like it. There's a point, it's not really the best route for doing purpose in this. Oh no, I can't. I've completely forgot about Perth. Perth is more of a sort of urban thing. Yeah. We might spot somebody in the village here. Ah, right. So. So it's going to be a very limited perp. So I would I would advise you to not be too choosy. <laughs> that Corolla's got twin exhausts on the back, which technically makes it a wheelbarrow. Ah, yeah. Good point. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Sticking a couple of scaffolding bars on each exhaust. See how long the bars need to be before you can lift it up. Ah, yeah. Oh right, yeah, I forgot. That's not going too well then, so. Policeman Badger. Oh, I didn't see. No, I, did, I did the Badger. It's all part of being uh, superstitious, isn't it? Do you know what? Do you think um, superstition and uh, OCD are the same thing? No. Not the same thing, but they go they go well together. Like fish and chips. They go kind of hand in Wellington. I'll have that one. Uh, oh, gosh. Um, yeah. Well done. Oh, I have done well. Oh, check out the Triangle of Doom. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, right. I said, no, I didn't even spot that because I was got distracted. Are you going to have that one? No. Well, who are you going for then? Um, no. But she might be alright with a bit of makeup on, actually. <laughs> Compliments to give to a lady anyway. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> stick, some, <laughs> stick some makeup on her and I might. <laughs> right, you have to try and guess which house it is. Right, I'm gonna guess. Oh, I shouldn't be recording. Well, this. you can always just edit the end off, couldn't you? Oh, yeah, no. Have you ever done that? You'll never guess which house it is. Yeah, I won't, I'll never guess you, right? No chance. Oh, that's a nice colour. Yeah, it appears to have a badge missing off the front. That's bad news. Could be worse. How am I going to find my way back from this? It's going to be impossible. Just follow me. How am I going to keep up with you? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be impossible. <clears throat> Boats would like to express his heartfelt appreciation to his amazing channel members. Alain Cyrle, Project MGTF, Rosé Chicks, Chef Daniel, The Greenwood, Typhoon Cat, Richard Mahon, Dinosaur Dad, GPS OMG, Car Crazy Norwegian, Tricia Alderman, Black Lines, 
Classic Wheels Wells, Sha Brown, Jimmy Quinn, Joe Cox, Project Nigel, Joe Harwood, Underscore, Every Sincar, Mr. George Roger Botti, Saint QLG, Bad Books, Benny The Worst, Nigel Fleck, Air Dumpy Dum, Rob Brooks, Wet Legs Rerend, Houkton Classics, Holly Halls, John Moruzzi, Who Judge, General Cheeseburger, Pingu Concorde, Psychonaut 7, Kevin U, Mickey Jeffries and Neil Gibbon. Your support means the world to him, you all fucking legends and they thanks you from the heart of his bottom. Thanks also to everyone who supported the channel in other ways with super chat, super thanks or just by watching the videos and leaving your nob alone when the adver come on. See you on the next video. Oh, and I'm not wearing any panties.